Well, the opposition says Labor's super changes will impact 10% of Australians, and that emerged with Treasury modelling. But not for another 30 years. Let's bring in Assistant Minister to the Prime Minister, Patrick Gorman, and Nationals Leader in the Senate, Bridget McKenzie, to discuss. Welcome to both of you. You're in Canberra uh, for the parliamentary sitting week. Look, so this Treasury modelling showing 10% of Australians will have a super balance of $3 million in 30 years. Patrick, wasn't this misleading for Labor to present the super changes as only affecting a small proportion of people, 80,000 people, when in fact in 30 years it's going to be one in 10 people, potentially 2.5 million people? Well, Labor built Australia's superannuation system. Uh, we will be the strongest defenders of that system and we want to make sure it's sustainable for the long term. Now, uh, we don't have a debate every time we're talking about any policy area about, well, where is it going to be in 30 years' time? We bring the data about where it is this year in 2023. And that is that it's only going to affect five out of every 1,000 Australians. That's a very small number. And it's a very modest change. And I want to make a few points about what this means when it comes to people with, who are very fortunate, well, and I congratulate them, who've got those larger superannuation balances. Uh, firstly, uh, it is only for the amounts in the, those large superannuation balances over $3 million. It won't kick in until after the next election. And but the legislation is being consult. introduced... The legislation is being introduced in this term of Parliament. Uh, so... That does amount to a broken promise. 